So I'm here with uh, Bob Schimmelman from Microbus. So Bob, tell us a bit more about Microbus and the system you've got here in this uh, fancy discovery. Microbus are a manufacturer of mobile data terminals, both fixed in-vehicle systems and demountable handheld PCs. Because we work together with a company called Carnation Designs, we take a number of CAN feeds from the vehicle so we can do things such as we have a safety camera for reversing. When the vehicle goes in reverse, you get an image out of the back of the car. Currently it's looking up because it's on the uh, back of the tailgate. The tailgate's open. Mm -hmm. Put it back into park and it goes back to whatever uh, system menus you're wanting to look at. Um, then we have a whole load of applications running underneath um, this piece of software which we call event processor software. So we've got internet access. Typically police forces would use that for their officers to have access to their force intranet. So if they have intelligence databases they access. We can control all the lights from either the touch screen or from the buttons. So we've got a combination of redundant systems. Typically the police like the buttons better. Most emergency services do. Um, we work also together with Sapura, the Tetra radio company, so we can control the Sapura radio from the touchscreen or from their radio head. Um, we've got satellite navigation. Our recording system automatically interfaces so that whenever you're in a response or an arrive mode, so any sort of emergency services mode, it begins to record a timestamp automatically. The officers or the operators don't have to do anything to begin doing that. As soon as you finish your emergency response mode, the timestamp is saved. You can choose if you want to archive those at the end of the shift, whatever you want to do with it. We have our Blade A and PR software system working on here, which reads number plates. We're currently doing it off of our CCTV camera on the front, but we've also got a dedicated infrared color overview camera in the rear of the vehicle. Um, we also have some third-party applications. We're working currently with uh, Talent on some fire applications. This is their seed brigade um, fire mobilization software platform. And um, then there's a variety of, of other um, sorry, uh, administrative tools. Um, but again, with the CAN feeds, we can do some interesting things like we have a rear cockpit camera. Um, the only time a police officer will open the near side rear door is if they're going to put someone in the back seat for questioning. This automatically turns on when that door is open, in case they're trying to throw things out of the car, or that kind of thing. So that's a general overview. I think um, that was over 60 seconds, but <laughs> I was trying to get as close to it as possible. That's uh, brilliant. Uh, and so, uh, so Bob, tell me about um, what people can get on the stand. Can you give them a tour of the, uh, the system? And, uh, and what kind of uh, clients do you work with in the UK? We work with um, a variety of clients, uh, clients, all the emergency services, so police, fire, and ambulance, um, private ambulance. Uh, we also work with some busing companies and a very large um, taxi firm. When clients do come on the stand, I give them a tour of the vehicle. I show them the hardware in the rear of the vehicle and the uh, fitment of it so that they see that you can pack an awful lot of equipment into this vehicle. And we can fit this entire same system into a Hyundai i30, which a lot of the police forces are using now. And then I'll take the time to show them our Lynx demountable system so that they understand that you can use the system mobily. It employs the same high visibility screen for outdoor use that we use in our in-vehicle system. Thanks, Bob.